Hey guys, it's me. Um, so it's been a long time and I should have, I've just been procrastinating doing one of these videos. Mm-hmm. I have a video. Okay. Um, everyone always asks me who does my hair and the question is me. I always do my own hair. Um, I am a natural, so sometimes I don't always like to wear my hair out and I come up with all types of creative hairstyles and I thought it was time for me to share. So today I'm doing a sew in um, with the no leave out and with a closure that I'm going to use the crochet method on. And I've seen a lot of videos where a lot of people have done this, um, but I, me, I tend to like this method a lot more than a lot of the methods that I've used because it doesn't allow heat to be on my hair. There's no real tension on my hair and it's just a perfect hairstyle to have and you still can have a sew-in look without all the extras, no lace closures, you know, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, I've already started on um, my braid pattern. I'll do a video where I show you my braid pattern but this is basically my braid pattern for right now. Um, and then I do two anchor braids right here because this is where I will be doing the crochet method. And then I went in and I did the um, first bundle already. I have a 22, a 20, and an 18 um, bundle. And I'm going to try to get all three of them in my hair. Um, but right now, this is the 24. And I'm not really done with it because I have... A little bit more to go but um I don't cut my wets I do use the fold over method um I already put it in my bottom my first bottom track some people cut their first bottom track and they put it on but I don't my first bottom track I braid I sew under the braid so that when I pull my hair back it will you know look like that but I don't usually wear it up so that's not that but usually if I didn't have a leave out I would leave all this hair out and this and then when the wind blows it will still look like it's my hair because the under track um and then I just go you know in chronological order as normal I'm pretty sure you guys know how to sew but if not I'll give little pointers and little tips as I go on um the hair I'm using today it is by a company named uh, Adelphi, and um, it is a Brazilian mermaid curl that I am doing, and it is great. Like, I've wet it, and it went into a nice little ringlet. I don't know what a ringlet is now at this point, um, but I wet it, and it went into some really tight, tight ringlets. This is it in its natural state right now. Um, I'll probably do more stuff like straightening and stuff and give you a review on that. But, um, right now I'm going to probably just keep it curly just for my own thing because curly is my the thing. Their, uh, website is adelphibeauty.com. That's A-D-E-L-F-I beauty, B-E-A-U-T-Y.com. And I'll put it down at the bottom. By the way, you guys should subscribe subscribe oh my god i need to learn how to talk um y'all should subscribe to my page because i plan on doing more hair videos because i'm always doing my hair and i'm always changing my hair all the time and i get questions all the time so if you have something that you want to see and you think that i'm able to do it and even if i'm not able to do it i will definitely try and if i master it then i will put it on the page uh -huh. so we'll try it first but anyways this is the hair it comes in this little package and it comes in a cute little gold bag. And um, I guess what I was going to show you. Yeah, this is it. Nice little curl. And I'm going to go ahead, finish sewing. And, you know, because I'm not really going to go into detail on the sew thing. Because I think you guys know for the most part, um, if you're watching this video, some of you do or don't know. Um, but I think you all know. Um, how to do a basic sew-in because this, this doesn't require a whole bunch of uh, shenanigans you're just going back and forth and I do use the um, the loop over method and I do do the little bunny loops 
along the way. I don't do like a whole bunch of them. Some people be doing like a billion trillion of them off along the way. Um, not me. This string is kind of long. I try to have like seven needles threaded when I do my full sew-ins because that's about how many I use. Um, if I use more than that, it's usually if I'm doing extra because <laughs> I am extra. Um, it's usually if I'm trying to be extra and try to squeeze four bundles in, um, then I thread like 10 needles. And excuse that little bump because I am like super close to my bathroom wall um, that I do my hair in. But yeah, so I'm just doing basic sewing in. And because I'm putting more bundles in, I'm kind of doing my tracks a little more closer. Um, and again, I did tell you guys that I do do the fold over method. So um, with that, I am basically, you guys know how this works. I go in, um, I kind of do, mine's different than some people. I curve on top of the bottom track um, and I don't go through the weft. Remember when you go through the weft, it kind of messes up the track. So try to go under the weft um, when you do your sew-ins. Cause you don't necessarily need to go through the weft unless you're putting the track on, you know, adding it on or, or whatever. But for the most part, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna fold it over and I try to do it at like a little slant and I'll try to show y'all best I can. But if you can see here, I try to do a little slant and then I simply just stick my thread on along the way, stick it in, pull it through, pull this astronomically long piece of string that I cut. It's just because I don't be feeling like threading no more than I need to, so I make really long thread pieces. And then once it's on, then we're back to basic. Basic sewing in. Um, Again, I'm sewing rather close to my track before this because I have more than one bundle to put in my hair. And so my lip gloss is popping, y'all. And so it is getting stuck to my lips. This hair is. But I had to have, can I be on even my ashy lips? Okay. Um, but yeah, this is just basic, and I'm probably gonna make this thing. I'm gonna speed it up for y'all, cause I'm like, I don't want to see me do this. Seriously, it is not that hard to sew my hair in. And if you wanna know, threading, want me to do it on a dummy, like a little dummy head, I will gladly do that, cause I have that here. Um, there's a few people that have asked me to do like knotless braids. Um, show you guys the knotless braid that I do, um, how to lay a lace, what I feel like is the best way to do them, even though I absolutely hate this whole lace craze that everyone's going through. Did you guys know that lace fronts are only really, were only made for theater originally, um, because they just match up with the skin and it was just a better technique overall for looking nice, um, when you did theater. And now it's like a craze and epidemic. But my question is like, what y'all gonna do when, what y'all gonna do when that phase is over? Some of these girls are gonna be <laughs> edgeless. As you can see, I'm not. Um, thank God for that. It still gives me what I want and gives me that look that I'm going for. 
And yeah, so once I close it up right here, then we are cool. So what I do is I lift my first track and you'll need a crochet needle. So if you don't know what that is, it looks just like this. Um, but basically what I do is I take, lift up that track that's on the braid and I flip it over. And when I flip it over, I go right up under it just like this. And I latch some hair on just from the bottom track and I pull it through just like that. And then I just lay it over this hair like this. And I keep doing it until it covers the whole thing. So I'll do it again. Can I show y'all a few different pieces? Just slash it under. Thread in some hair. Closing the latch, pulling it through. And closing it up. Oops, I just dropped the damn thing. Oh, okay. And then I'll keep doing that until it is closed. And this just is an easier way to do it. Um, you know, without having to have all the extra like leave out and all of that stuff, I just would prefer this way. And then I don't have to curl none of my hair or any of that stuff. Like I'm just pulling it through. I pulled a lot at that time, but just pulling it through. Oops, I pulled too much through, but pulling it through and then I just comb it over like so. And then I'll, you know, curl it so that it'll sit sit there but it'll start to just kind of fall in your face anyway naturally once it's through the pieces but as you can see it's already closing up and that is the cool part is that it goes really fast and then I just continue to do it until it's all built up. And then you don't really need to, like the other parts that's under there, you don't really need to make room for them because it's under. So you don't gotta worry about them pulling it through. It's gonna break. I braid my hair so freaking tight that sometimes it's harder to get some of these pieces through. And it may look a little messy, but again, remember we can go back through and you can curl it and do all the, the decorating and carrying on as you go through your hair. But right now, this is what it looks like on that side. And then I'll just keep pulling hair until it's all closed up. So, and I'll come back and show you the final once I get it all done so y'all can see. Okay, bye.